Hey guys, check it out. The ATOP W70 4K GPS drone. And guess what? It's right in this box, so let's check it out. All right guys, so inside of that box comes this super sweet case. Nice little logo on there, really nice. And then you flip it open and there you go. It's all in there. Really nice. Let's get it out of this thing. All right, so inside the box you get two, two, 11.4 2500 milliamp hour batteries wow those are big ones all right so this will give you some real decent flight time i'll tell you that right now wow two of them suckers you get this transmitter which pulls out from the bottom you have your on and off here it doesn't take batteries it has an internal battery and the charge port is right there right there is the charge port here's the antennae Here's, uh, oh, that's to unlock the props. And then here's some photo, video, here's some rates. And then there's how you spin the gimbal with the little wheel there. Yeah, looks real good. You get the spare props. They're right there. And there's a little charge cable in there and stuff. And screwdriver, of course. You always get the screwdriver. Here's the manual. There's that for the QR code for the app. Let me show you the app real quick. Yeah, the app is called Atop View. It's right there. So you'll want to check that out. Then I'm going to show you the drone real quick. But you know what we want to do, right? We want to go fly it. That's the uh, the main thing. Okay, so here's your bottom of the drone right there. You got a couple of lights. It looks like you got a little fan right there. Then you got your you know your altitude hold thing going on there your sensor you know then you got your camera there's where the micro SD card goes right there right right there I'm trying to focus the camera it doesn't seem to want to focus today for some reason anyway so yeah it's foldable the battery goes right in the top let's pop that sucker in there yeah let's turn it on let's turn on the controller now it just beeps so I think it's just I think it binds itself. So let's just turn the app on real quick. We'll go to the uh, Wi-Fi settings. <clears throat> and the Wi-Fi name is going to be W70. You'll see it on there. So that's going to connect. Then it'll say connecting aircraft. And then you can go to start flying. Now it'll it's searching for the GPS signal right there. But it's going to want to do you to do the calibration right off the bat. So we're going to do that. So I'm going to spin it. And I like the new ways they're doing this now is that they, there it is, it's done. Is that they give you the beep. The old days, they didn't do that. Okay, well, it's searching for the GPS signal, which it's not going to find. But you can see by looking at the phone, I'm moving the drone around. And there it goes, right? Okay, so you see that stuff. You know, let's go fly the thing. You know, that's what I want to do, right? Let's go fly it. All right, guys, we're out here with the ATOP W70. Man, that's a that's a sweet looking bird. Wow, that's really nice. Let me uh, check the um, the camera real quick to see if the okay. I just wanted to make sure the gimbal was going to go up and down. Yeah, so we just want to take off. We got 11 satellites, so yeah, we're good. Let's start recording some video. It's pretty stable. Let's just get it out here into the grass a little bit. Now it does have those lights on underneath, so maybe I'll take it out for a little night thing. I don't know if you can turn them off in the settings or not. No, I don't see that. So. It doesn't use, it's LEDs, who cares? It doesn't use any power. But look how stable it is, wow. All right, so let's just fly it around a little bit just to see how it, uh...
Okay. It's not real crisp on turning or anything like that because it, it kind of lumbers around. Because, you know, it's a big drone. It's not like some little mini. It's not like a, you know, a Mavic Mini or nothing. It's pretty big. You know, you're definitely going to have to get your, you know, FAA number and all that on there. So, yeah, it's a pretty big bird, to be honest. So, let's um, try one of these... Um, surrounding things this is what I always like to check the orbits to see how how low they'll go here let me bring it out here into the field a little bit okay so there it's doing it now what I like to check when this is doing this is to see how, if you can raise it and lower it. You know, that's kind of like important. If it doesn't let you go up and down with it, then it's really, it's not as good. It's better when it lets you do that. And there is a setting in there for the radius, how far you want it. So I made it pretty small because I'm in this small park right now, so. You can set it. It's in the settings there, to how, how much of the radius you want. So I'm going to see if we can lower it. Which it is letting me. Okay, so that's really neat that you can go down this low. And get that ground shot so that's super awesome so i'm digging that oh yeah nice real nice i'm gonna go down even a little bit lower push my luck right <laughs> so yeah that's great and it has a stop button on there to stop whatever you're doing with that. So yeah, that works out real nice. Okay, so I stopped it. Wow, flies great. Okay, so let's see what else it has in there. Okay, so it has follow. Let's turn it around. Okay, so it's following. There it goes. Yeah, okay. I'm not going to do waypoints right now. I mean, maybe in the next flight I'll take it to a bigger park. Because it... Um, It's, it's kind of a small park to do waypoints, you know what I mean? You want to be able to go out go out a little bit to do some waypoints. Okay, so it's following great. It does, that works great. So, yeah, we'll kill that. All right. It's a little windy out today, but who cares? All right, guys, this thing's really nice. This is a nice drone right here. Wow. And then it has gestures to take pictures. I don't know, you know, about what the heck the deal is with that. We'll try it. We'll I'm not a big gesture fan, but I'll, I'm willing to try it. I have no idea if it worked. Who knows, right? I, I don't know. Let me... Work. Okay, there's something there that says lock.
Okay, I think it did it. If it did it, I'll slide the picture in there. Okay, so. Yeah, it flies great. Wow. Very impressed. I thank these guys for sending this. It's a nice little drone right here. I'm not gonna try the range out here. I go to Pioneer Park and we'll do the, maybe try the waypoint and, the, and try out the, the range on it. I'm sure the range would be 500 feet or something. You know, all these Wi-Fi drones, they lose. I mean, you'll lose the video signal in like 500 feet or less, but then, you know, the range would be more, but if you can't see where you're going, you know, then it's pointless to me. I mean, you can go ahead and fly it out there and hit the return to home button, but is that gonna, is it gonna work? See, that's, <laughs> that's what you gotta worry about, right? All right, guys, let's uh, let's land it up. So we got the unboxing done and all that good stuff. Nice little flight here. Wow. I'm impressed with that. Let me stop the video. Okay, now, what is that? It's return to home or land? I think that's, okay, to land. Say so we'll try to do a hand grab on it. Hold on. Wow, very impressive. Indeed. I'm liking that, wow. All right guys, there you go. <laughs> wow, very nice. All right guys, there it is. Have a nice day. I'll have the video in there and you can see the video quality and all that good stuff. Have a nice day, I'll talk to you later.